Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. So we have already discussed about RF type telemetry, that is nothing but radio frequency based telemetry. In case of radio frequency based telemetry, we require one important method that is called modulation. In this session, I'm going to give a brief introduction about modulation. Why modulation is very important for RF based telemetry system. So before explaining modulation, let us understand the definition of modulation, why modulation is required, all the things we'll discuss. Uh, the first definition, it is the process of combining low frequency signal with a very high frequency radio wave is known as modulation. The low frequency signal, we call it as message signal. Okay, message signal. Then, the very high frequency signal we call it as a carrier signal. So, message signal and carrier signals are superimposing or combining. Why it is required? Why? Because uh, the allowed message signal uh, cannot be transmitted for longer distance. So, in order to transmit for longer distance, the frequency of the message signal has to be increased. So, therefore, uh, the low frequency signal will be superimposed with the, uh, the high frequency carrier waveform. Then only we can transmit the signal from the transmitter side. All right. Second point is, the modulation is the process of varying one or more properties of a periodic waveform is, co is called a carrier signal with the modulating signal that is typically contain the information to be transmitted. So this is regarding uh, modulation. So moving on to the third definition, uh, it is the process of combining audio frequency signal with the radio frequency carrier is known as modulation. So you can follow any type of definition. In all definition, concept will be same only. So in the third definition, if you look at the AF signal, that will be combining with the, the RF carrier. Okay, that means message signal will be combining with the carrier signal for the transmission. So without trans, uh, modulation, the transmission is not possible. Transmission may be possible, but it may not be effective because it has to be transmitted for the longer distance. So that's why we require modulation. I hope you got my point. Uh, if I uh, if I mention about the modulation, I have to explain the importance. The first purpose of modulation is to increase the operating range, to transmit the signal for a very long distance. Uh, it reduces the size of transmitting and receiving antennas. Otherwise, you need to increase the size of antenna that is not at all cost effective. It is not at all economically favorable design, everything will be complicated. So if I go for the modulation, I can reduce the size of antennas. Uh, then it supports for the wireless transmission. These are the purpose of uh, going for modulation. Okay. Now I would like to discuss the block diagram of modulation. Uh, to perform the modulation, we require modulator. It is one of the device. In the modulator, uh, we require audio frequency signal, or you can call it as a message signal. Along with the message signal, you need to add a RF carrier signal. So AF signal and the RF carrier signals are combining by using modulator. Then if you see the output of the modulator, the pattern will be like this. So we have the message signal. Okay, this is your this, this is your message signal. And this will be the carrier signal. I have pointed out separately. So message signal, let me write it M, message signal. This is for carrier signal, like this. Okay, generally we can write the output as a function like a is equal to a c cos 2 pi f c t plus 5. Here the thing is uh, the small letter f represent the frequency where a c represent the amplitude and uh, a is the function that changes with respect to time and uh, phi is the angle difference, phase angle difference, phi is the phase angle. So this block diagram gives a brief information about what is modulation, how the modulation takes place, what is modulator, and what is the general equation of uh, no, modulation? Those things, it's a sinusoidal or cosine function. Okay, it's a periodic function. There are two types of modulation. The first one is analog modulation. And the second one is called digital modulation. Uh, the analog modulations are amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation, where digital modulation can be categorized as phase shift keying, PSK, then frequency shift keying, FSK, Amplitude shift keying ASK, then quadrature amplitude modulation. It is also known as QAM. These are the various digital modulation techniques. So this is a broad classification of uh, modulation. I think you got my point. 
So we'll be discussing each session separately. So what do we mean by amplitude modulation, phase modulation, then what is ASK, FSK, PSK, everything we'll be di discussing separately. Why? Because this is a part of telemetry system, uh, especially RF telemetry. If you're talking about RF telemetry, you need to know what is modulation. Then you need to know demodulation as well. Okay, that I'll be discussing in the later session. Let me know if you are having any questions related to this topic. Feel free to put up in comment box. Thank, thank you so much for watching this video.